Street Fighter 2. <laughs> Oh, I feel so embarrassed. Uh, I went into training mode after last time of playing Vega and was like, oh, I'll check out his second V trigger and stuff, because I had never. And then I realized that the whole time I hadn't used a single, a specific special move once, because I forgot he had it in this game. <laughs> Bad at the game. <laughs> to be fair, and this is for people, I mean, this is just like a kind of like scrub quote, I guess, to some degree, but like, I have played Vega never, basically. I played him once on my friend, two or three times on my friend's PC, like three and a half years ago, and then I went, I'm gonna play him randomly, like the last recording I literally went into trials did like about four to five trials and then just went oh, I'm gonna record an arcade mode so yeah don't expect leap plays here like I'm just playing pissing around really as you can see pretty simple shit just that special into like a low heavy or a mid heavy I like this new this V skill I'm using actually. I think I like it quite a lot. I think I prefer it to his other one because his others is just like a claw move, another claw move, and it's like he has a lot of claw moves. Uh, and I know it works in different ways and stuff, and it's pretty helpful, but like. To be fair, the AI is not exactly putting up a huge challenge. Although it does occasionally anti-air my bullshit, so which is fair because I'm relying on it a lot. <laughs> Why not? If you're gonna let it hit. You win. Yeah. Take that Chun Li. Basic AI Chun Li. Uh, I've always liked Vega. I always thought Vega was super cool, uh, but then I never really played Street Fighter Two, and then I was distracted in Street Fighter Four. But he kind of fulfills that kind of role that I always like—a annoying character that pings around the screen and jumps off the side of the screen and shit. Because like I also like Rolento. And uh, I also like Adon, so you can kind of see that I like... And I used to like Street Fighter 4 Jury, and she didn't bounce off the screen, but she did have a lot of movement capabilities. You see, I'm just smacking the cankles. There we go, there's that move that I never used. <clears throat> oh, Ryu doesn't know what to do. Oh, he... Walk forward punch, apparently. Seriously. I'm having a lot of trouble, like, blocking in this game. I don't know why. It's like, it's just back to block, and for some reason, I can't. Like, I've always had this trouble with Street Fighter. Like, I can block perfectly fine in Tekken. But it's like, I will be holding block, and they'll just hit me anyway and go, oh yeah, that doesn't count. Fuck you. And I'm like, what? People forget that like Street Fighter 4 Jury had a parry teleport and it was rad. Like she would just do like a idle like a kind of taunt and if you hit her during the taunt, like if you hit it hit Dudley, uh she it activates a parry kind of thing or whatever and like she will teleport the direction that you basically tell her to teleport, so it could be like above, behind forward back you know it was rad and i'm super sad they got rid of it but i get the feeling that it would have kind of encroached upon nash's territory in street fighter 5 a little bit because he has like he his v skill one 
is basically teleport forwards. And then they gave her a V skill jury that's like a teleport of a kind, but it's very limited. It's like it, she just has to charge it and then goes forwards and kicks you from behind. It's like not really the same, obviously. And it came out so fast. It would come out so fast in that game. Oh, that's so cool. But I'm bad at jury now. I need to play more jury. Maybe I'll do that later, I don't know. No. No, Blanca, no. I never liked Blanca. My first experience of like hitting a wall as a beginner player of Street Fighter 2, and the first Street Fighter 2 I ever remember playing is HD Super HD Turbo. No, Turbo HD Remix. The one with the the newer art that isn't the new challenges. It came out a while ago, it was on the 360. Arcade, I had it. Xbox, arcade, whatever. Um, I taunt you, AI. The AI is enraged. Ow. The AI... The AI is... Angry. What? <laughs> he just phased through me. What the shit? Blanca can do that. I don't like Blanca's new design, but I never liked Blanca. Like I was saying, first, first ever time I played a uh, Street Fighter, I played as DJ uh, on the HD Turbo Remix, whatever it's called. I want to say Turbo. I always get the adjectives mixed up because there's a lot added onto that game, and you know it's already like Super Turbo, and then there's like this HD remix, whatever. The first wall I ever had was Blanca, and I was just like, "What the fuck am I looking at? He's just hitting me, and he keeps doing this weird ball move, and then if I stay next to him, he electrocutes me. I don't understand." And of course, I'm playing DJ, and I don't know any specials. And I can't read because at this point I can't read. I can't read the commands because I don't know what the symbols mean. It's like a red circle with a fireball motion or like the charge motion. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Oh, I lost. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Stupid fucking block. <laughs> he neutral jumped. What the fuck is that move? I've never seen that move before where he just kind of jumps forward like a gorilla. Izuna drop. Missed. Oh! He's doing the spins. You're not Kano. You probably predate Kano, but I don't care. <laughs> You're not cool. What if Blanca and Kano were the same character? Green Australian. Oh, imagine just imagine if Blanca spoke like Kano. That's bad enough as is. Like, this comes up to you and is like, "Hello, baby." <laughs> You'd be like, "Oh my fucking god!" I'm sure people in the the era of Shrek fandom. I'm sure someone would be into that, and I don't want to think about that. Leave Blanca. You win. You look at your face, what's wrong with your face? Basically every single like Vega quote is you're either beautiful enough for me to be a skeeve or you're not beautiful enough <laughs> for me to be a skeeve. And to be fair, he's got a point with some of the characters in this game because they they have a big problem of like what's wrong with your face, like this <laughs> look again. He looks hideous in this game. Anyway. <clears throat> like, he's got a big problem of, like, his face does not match his hair, no matter what hair he has. No matter if it's Nostalgia Ken or New Ken. And I think it makes him look like a weird man in a weird wig. I'm relying on specials too much, which uh, for new players, don't do that. Because <laughs> this shit happens. 
Notice how Ken has basically not done a special the whole thing, and it's like he's just standing there doing light punch. And he's supposed to be like, what, four level, five level? I didn't read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work point blank, okay. Fuck! Yeah, I've lost this. Or have I? I have. Or have I? I'm just kind of like... <laughs> I will kick your feet until you fall down. Notice I go into that a lot. I also do this with Aidon. It's a very big habit of like... Flip, special, hit, low kick. Flip, special, hit, low kick. It's like my favorite thing to do. I do it all the time with Adon and 4 as well, where I'll go into like a uh, Jaguar Tooth and then go into a low heavy and it's like the AI is just super fucked up by that, so... It's just an overhead to a heavy low, I mean it's not that hard to predict after me doing it 400 times. So I just like that little slide. It's the same, like, I like the bison slide where he just kind of goes <laughs> forwards on the ground and just weirdly slides forward and it counts as like a hit. And you're like, what? It's the same thing, Vega's little slide where he's like, hee hee. <laughs> like, it just works for me. Whereas, like, the, the low heavy I'm talking about for Adon is uh, just like a low roundhouse like where he just sticks his leg out really far and it's got really good range so I just use that a right. lot because it's like good range heavy low so <laughs> it's pretty good once it's out oh god these barrels are schmixing me up beaten by inanimate objects god they take so many hits fuck <laughs> I'm getting more than last time, I think. Maybe I'm not. Why can't I beat up the car anymore? Why am I always beating up the barrels? I like the car. No one likes barrels, everyone likes car. Time to fight Balrog. The problem with a lot of the offline I've been doing lately is that it's not really challenging me all that much. It's really just like, and it doesn't prepare you for like fighting against people online or people in locals because human players don't just stand there, walk backwards, stop, crouch, walk backwards, walk forwards, light punch, do nothing. <laughs> and like they, they do a lot more like stuff but it's like they're more likely to not input, like read your inputs and like have an answer for everything. Unless they're really good. <clears throat> you know, you can start to get a feel for a human player and go like, you know, it's like, like playing chess against a computer versus playing chess against a human after a while. You kind of work out what they're doing each time and go, okay, how can I counter that? Whereas the AI is just sitting there and input reading at high levels and just going, okay, just throw this out every single time like a machine would. Because <laughs> it's like, this has X frames. I will put out this thing that has a frame shorter than it every time. Let's... See, I did a heavy low slide kick there and he just went like low light punch to smash it out like because that's the answer they supposed to do to my dumb bullshit because <laughs> i'm leaving it out for too long and it doesn't do any like it doesn't have much block stun but to be fair this balrog is not exactly doing anything it's just kind of standing there so you win not like that was tough, really. It's supposed to be a level five. What was that? Four, five. Oh, no. oh. five Vega. 
Vega v Vega. Can I beat my younger self? The ultimate question. <clears throat> now I really like Vega in this game, probably because a lot of his stuff is much easier, because a lot of it's not charge anymore. Like, only the, uh... Is it Bloody Rose it's called? The one where he just dives forwards after bouncing off the screen with his claw is a charge move now. And he used to be like a predominantly charge move character, so that's a little weird. Maybe that was deliberate to try and encourage more players, but I always thought there was a lot of Vega players. Fight. Now, I did look when I was in training and they said if you're on this stage you can do a thing where you climb onto this cage, but I forgot the inputs and I don't really want to bring up the, like, move list mid-match, because it feels a bit like I'm breaking, like, you know, the momentum, so I'm not gonna do it, I don't think. We just all do flips and low kicks. Haha, <laughs> snatched out the air. Get snatched. I didn't mean to do that, fuck. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I always think the forward quarter circle is the uh, slash and it's actually the change your weapon thing and now I'm wrecked. Well, he got me in the corner and I walked forwards. My beauty is unshakable. Round two. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, he snatched me now. Oh, and again. Oh, okay, he likes that move. I did a little bit. That didn't do much damage. That has that has a lot of range, and it just kind of slides forwards a little bit, so it gives you more range than you expect. I was trying to do my. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to do my super. I can't get it out in this game very effectively because I go really fast. I'm like, da -da -da. <laughs> and it's like, no, go slow. Go as slow as you can, and I'm like, no. Du -du -du. Like, it's like Guilty Gear, I just go, du -du -du. like, really fast with the sticks, like, click, click, du. spin, spin, du. like, really fast, and it's like, no, I'm not reading that, fuck you, that's too dirty. Because, <laughs> like, my inputs are too all over the place, because I'm, like, panicking. We will try again. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm not online. I'm actually considering rejoining like the online stuff. I'm not good, as you can see. It's more just for fun. Uh, but I don't have like a stable Wi-Fi connection here, and I don't know if the place I'm moving into soon is going to have an Ethernet port. So I'd rather be like cabled, but I also need to get my own Wi-Fi. Because yeah, I can't really get on the I don't want to be gaming on a public network. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll have to, like, get my own thing. And uh, then I have to get my gold membership on PS4 and everything, you know, the plus and everything. But, um, finding a lot of fighting games nowadays don't have as much offline as I would want, and when they do, the CPUs just either really cheap and bullshit, and you don't want to play them like this, or uh, they're really lame and they just walk backwards and forwards like this and do weird neutral jumps and you're just like, um, um, you can't exactly, like, this isn't a really exciting footsies game, this is just us kind of like walking backwards and testing each other occasionally and going, I will just throw this out and then walk backwards and throw this out. It's like, You know, I, I want to play more, like, with humans. I thought that would be fun again, but, like, uh... Ow. <laughs> you just pull me out of that each time. That makes me nervous relying on my usual bullshit. Yeah. Oh. No. Okay, I can save this. I cannot save this. Oh, I might save this. Oh, I should do the flip. Do the flip. Oh, I didn't do the flip. Yeah. Yeah, that one. The AI doesn't seem to know how to deal with that. 
and it's like it gives you a lot of time to go oh he's doing the flip get back <laughs> but it's like always hits if you're in range they don't do anything to stop it yeah, I, I don't want to be fighting AI the whole time, and like, if you're playing Guilty Gear or like anything like that, there's not really much like, um, offline you can do, so, especially Rev 2, so... <clears throat> yeah, I'm really bad at Guilty Gear, but like, I'd like to actually try and get good at it, alright? So, do that, I actually have to play online. I can do this, I can do it. Just don't be an idiot. One more hit. Oh, he knew. Final round. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> he really likes to answer with that, and like, uh. Oh, weird trade, but okay. Oh, that was just a cr crush counter. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Countering my bullshit. He knows. trying to do my super you can tell by my weird kind of like ducking here <laughs> and I'm like oh, I gotta do it I got oh no I'm losing the match because I can't well the super did come out you can see my bar empty but he hit me out of it immediately because it took me so long to put the I need to improve on that that is embarrassing but now I lost the entire thing because of it you lose I lose I can't read that. It's too small on my screen. Just got this windowed. <laughs> we'll try again. Uh, yeah, I want to get more online stuff, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Like, I don't really have time right now to be setting up, like, Wi-Fi, then finding an Ethernet, then getting the Ethernet port set up because they won't set it up unless I tell them to and then paying for like plus and then getting bodied about 600 times online <laughs> but I thought it would make things more entertaining that's all <clears throat> Round one. let's try again Yeah, that was a bit of a weird mix-up, that wasn't really a mix-up, I jumped over him and then just did the slowest, like, special, it was like, you could have stopped me from doing that, <laughs> like, you should have stopped me from doing that, that was stupid, super unsafe, could have at least blocked it, that was too early, I was expecting him to neutral jump into it for some reason, okay, that's fine. Be honest even when I win after two losses I tend to feel like the AI just feels bad for me and is letting me win at this point because he walked into that man familiar with charge moves there because sometimes I do a really wonky jump and a random normal yeah sometimes I do that with Alex too oh no I need to play more than zero oh 
See, that's what he should have done the first time. Point blank EX claw is like not, it's got a huge startup because he spins in place. I use that a lot to finish off when I don't want to go in and get the final hit. <laughs> I don't want to jump in anymore, so I'm just like, oh, my V skill is filled, my V trigger is filled, I'll just throw the rose and finish this off, because, yeah. Some reason Sagat's level 4, I guess, because I lost a bunch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it's level 5 AI and they do even any movement, I'm like, oh, they're hitting me. Oh, no defense. I'll just die then. <laughs> like, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's supported by this out of date sponsor. Oh, I need to play more Street Fighter V, but I also need to just play more fighting games in general. Like, I might get really in. It's been a long time. There's certain things in my life that I, like, kind of come back to on and off. Like, for example, uh, playing guitar, drawing, or um, rock climbing. I will go through huge phases. I'm Pokemon as well. <laughs> I will go through huge phases where I don't play these things. And then I will come back to them and go, this is really fun, why did I stop doing this? Recently bought some new rock climbing gear, I'm super happy, because I have really been getting back into that. And normally when I get back into rock climbing, I get back into fighting games, because it's kind of the same kind of like era of my life with these two things together. That braid freaking out. Every time he raises his, what is that, like, left arm? Is it left arm? It's hard to tell because he's... Yeah, I think it's his left arm. The, the braid always falls on that side in that victory animation, so he, his braid will freak out every time he's on the right side and wins with enough health. It's like, really? Oh. Oh, you have nothing and I have everything. Okay, okay. Okay, you're gonna do that. You win. He'll win. So mean. Big is a big old mean. Let's fight Bison <laughs> again. <laughs> you forget. You forget and then you remember suddenly. Wow, Bison's the final boss in way more Street Fighter games than he isn't the boss. Oh man. And then every other character that's the final boss in any of the other Street Fighter games is only ever the final boss once. Like, you go, well. You know, like, free is Jill, Gil, Jill. <laughs> yes, he's called Jill. And, uh, and, uh, Seth before. Man, I got so sick of fighting Seth. I think everyone did, because he's just not fun. He's just not a fun character to fight. Okay, you're doing that. I see. You're doing your bullshit. Your bison bullshit. And I'm blocking most of it, but you know, you don't block one and you're stuck in a five day combo chain. Boo. Boo. You're weak, pathetic, and weak. No. You're just busted. Shut up. <laughs> Anyone can play you like this, Bison. I literally learned how to play like that, and it's like really easy to win. Boo! <laughs> I 
beat survival mode like on multiple levels just by doing what the AI does as bison because like the other AI can't deal with it. Because <laughs> it is bullshit because you can't work out where it's like... You then learn where the frames where he's vulnerable are but it takes you a while. <laughs> Because it just looks like a lot of bullshit, like... Because, like, his, like, you know, the knee press hits twice. That big orb hits quite big and kind of can, like, cause hit stun. It's the little geezer thing he does, you know, where he's like, yeah, and he pulls like purple energy from the earth. It hits multiple times, but he is so vulnerable during that time if it doesn't hit properly. <laughs> God damn it, Bison. And if I just use lights after the second hit of the knee press, you can hit him out of that. It goes duh, duh, and you could hear it there while I was blocking it. It goes duh, duh, and then after that second one, if you just get a quick hit, in, it knocks him off balance. But you know, I'm an idiot, so. <laughs> and a lot of the time, I'm drinking beer and playing, which is like my John's, is that like I like to drink beer and play fighting games at the same time. Which is actually like a really like it means that I kind of suck when I play. Ah, <laughs> oh, these load times. I feel like they're not load times; they're just mandatory add times. Uh, I see you're doing nothing for some reason. Slashed. I don't know why I stood by him, but that that let that happen. If you, if you don't let him get you in a corner, it makes his job much harder, because his range is surprisingly quite, like, limited. Like, he, he, you know, a lot of his moves involve charging, and he's hopping forwards in short range like that. But then you let him near, and this happens. He's just like, hit, flip, hit, flip, hit, flip, hit, flip, and you're like, no, now I'm in the corner. And then he does this shit. His little dorky knee slide I was talking about earlier that I think is hilarious because it's like nee. <laughs> like he's on a little wheelie chair in the office and he's like nee. <laughs> I'm sliding forwards on my wheelie chair activate Heelys now <laughs> See how vulnerable I am when I do my leg slide? Yeah, that's like, Bison is also vulnerable when he does his leg slide and it fucks up and it doesn't hit. This is not going well if you haven't worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Ricked. Get ricked. Damn dictators. Coming over to Thailand, beating up the Spanish. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened. That is a very weird thing. Where is Bison originally from? Does it ever say? I just assumed he's Japanese because, like, you know, this is a Japanese video game and he kind of looks Japanese, but, like, is it ever confirmed? Because this final stage was always Thailand, right? I just assumed it's because you normally fight Sagat last and he's just hanging out at a temple nearby Sagat like lol. Just chilling at my temple. <laughs> I didn't think he was actually supposed to be Thai. I thought he was just there on some sort of like weird bison dictator business. Like in the movie. <laughs> that is totally canon. <laughs> If we all flip, no one flips. That's got surprising range. His knee slide goes further than my, like, little slide. 
50. It, it does a decent range. Both of them do more than you expect, but like... Just hit him. Oh, see? See the knee press? You just low light it, and it's just like... He's like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> ah, that good old braid freak out. It's not really a win unless the braid is like clipping through existence. Let that hit. You let that hit. You saw me rolling from a mile off. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Balls. There we go, just light low, light heavy low, light heavy low. <laughs> oh no, foot to the face. I'm in the corner, I need to get out. Get me out of here, someone pick me up, I'm scared. No, there we go. Oh, heavy, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna die in a few hits. It's oh my god. <laughs> Final round. I wasn't ready. The AI puts me to sleep, and then I have big trouble waking up when they actually do stuff. And then I'm like, oh, uh, supposed to be making this easy for me. <laughs> I am baby. I am small baby. Only playing normal, sir. Sir, they said this was a casual game now for casuals. Standing on my head. Don't see that often. Do you know in the Shrek GBA uh, like fighting game, Lord Farquaad has a bison stand on your head and dance move? <laughs> Which is very similar, but he does a little tap dance on your head, so Lord Farquaad's. Uh, Lord Farquaad's sprite will jump on your head and just be like, did, 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 and knock you down. GBA Shrek Fighter facts. I played that way too much. I win. Let's see the single panel of art we're allowed to see for each arcade mode finish. Where is it? I have wine, and I'm fabulous. Look how fabulous I am. The ugly do not deserve anything. <laughs> wow. Vega's a bit of a dick, isn't he? <laughs> oh well, there we go. Another arcade mode done.